blow it. Well, while most Americans are watching the White House race, homosexual activists are quietly targeting smaller contests throughout rural America this year. CBN News first exposed the strategy this summer when it was presented by multi-millionaire donor and gay organizer Tim Gill. But now pro-family groups in the heartland are beginning to pay attention. And as Heather Sells reports, they are fighting back. Driving into Iowa, it's easy to relax and enjoy the peacefulness of this land, where corn and pork are king. But make no mistake, there's a fierce battle underway here for the hearts and minds of voters. If the homosexuals can win, not just in San Francisco or Boston, but if they can win in Des Moines, it is a great PR victory for them. CBN News has learned that Iowa is one of several heartland states targeted by gay activist Tim Gill. Gill made millions after starting software giant Quark. His new political career is equally impressive. In 2006, Gill and his foundation coordinated the backing of his candidates with close to $15 million, won 50 of 70 targeted races, and helped to flip four state chambers. We have successfully flipped legislatures around this country from Republican control to Democratic control, and the net result is always good for gay people. Always. CBN News was there when Gill outlined his strategy before the Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Transgender Caucus and a surprise appearance during the Democratic National Convention. The priorities? Go local because gay-friendly legislation starts at the state level, and go rural. If all of you give $50 to probably 10 or 20 candidates around the U.S. that are from those small states, we can get rid of them. In Iowa right now, the Family Policy Center believes Gill has organized like-minded friends around the country to give to at least 13 state house races at stake a marriage amendment that must pass through the legislature before Iowans can vote on it. Ross Postgen could be a target. The fifth generation farmer will easily sell 20,000 hogs from his family farm this year. But will the Republican win his race for an Iowa assembly seat? His opponent, Alicia Gaiman, has received more than $11,000 from out-of-state gay activists. It's from California, Nevada, and Boston, and Washington, D.C., and Washington State, and everywhere. The soft-spoken Postgen told CBN News that he doesn't know much about Tim Gill, but he wants voters to know about the campaign contributions. That's going to be up to the voters to decide if that, if that bothers them. Does it bother you? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I, I, uh, I can name my out-of-state donors probably on one hand. Gaiman would not return CBN's calls. Neither would candidate Eric Palmer, who has also accepted more than $11,000 from the same group of activists. Two years ago, Gil helped Palmer take out Iowa's House Speaker, Danny Carroll. In 2006, Tim Gill surprised Carroll, a pumpkin farmer from central Iowa, who had no idea what had hit him until after he lost the election. But this year, Carroll is running again with a much better idea of who and what he is up against. A lot of times, you know, we feel like we're, we're losing the fight, but uh, uh, we know who wins in the end, and so we take hope and encouragement from that. Carroll believes his leadership in advancing the marriage amendment put him on Gill's radar. Now, Chuck Hurley and other pro-family advocates believe Gill is making good on his word, promoting candidates who will push gay-friendly bills. I served in the Iowa House for six years. I know what special interests try to do when they contribute to campaigns. Across the Iowa border into Wisconsin, family advocates wised up to Gill after a local blogger checked campaign contributions. He found a similar pattern to Iowa's, a group of out-of-state gay activists giving $500 and $1,000 at a time in key races. Why might Gill be interested in Wisconsin? because he believes that Democratic control is always better for pro-gay legislation. And he has a great opportunity right now in the Badger State. I'm sure that what he did is said, you know, look at this. We get four or five people, we turn four or five races around, and all of a sudden we have a Democratically controlled Senate, a Democratically controlled Assembly, and a Democrat in the Executive Office. Some 
thing you should know about. Appling's pro-family group, Wisconsin Family Action, is running radio spots to educate voters on the Gill Factor. But Appling readily admits the battle is uphill, and the out-of-state money makes it even tougher. When you have $10,000 or $12,000 or a significant percentage of your total income coming in from out-of-state sources, you better believe it makes a difference. This summer, Gill mentioned a few targets by name, including one in his backyard, Colorado Congresswoman Marilyn Musgrave. CBN News caught up with her at a Habitat for Humanity project. In 2003, Musgrave introduced the federal marriage amendment. In campaigns since then, Gill and friends have spent millions on various media to take her out, including this, a spot attacking her record on veterans' benefits. It shows her picking the pockets of a soldier's corpse. I have become a symbol. Uh, I have become a target of, of his vitriolic frustration. And uh, I hope that I can stand, not because I'm such an incredible person, but because I have become a symbol for people who want religious freedom. Whatever happens on November 4th, pro-family advocates across the nation are recognizing the need to step up efforts, especially at the state level. If pro-family, pro-marriage individuals will get as serious about electing our friends as Tim Gill has been about electing his friends, we can win this. What might getting serious look like? Hurley believes pro-family donors must be found to match Gill's money head-on, and a strategy is needed that will strengthen traditional marriage from coast to coast and in between. Heather Self, CBN News. Thanks, Heather. Well, we're glad we put the spotlight on Tim Gill and what he was doing. He was doing it under the radar, but he's not under the radar any longer. But folks should be amazed what a few hundred dollars does in a state race. It's just uh, the, these uh, small uh, uh, delegate races, state senate races, uh, they spend a few thousand dollars. And if somebody comes in with, say, 10,000 extra dollars, that can make the difference. And, and so if the people involved. I mean, what does it take? A hundred people giving a hundred dollars. That's all it is. Well, it's it's definitely a time for a heads up on the part of people who have values yeah. that they want to stand well, for. You need to understand these state legislative races are vital. And, uh, the, you know, you, you heard what he said. If the Democrats win, the homosexual agenda is, is favored. He said that. I mean, they wouldn't dare say that on the national scene, but he said that. He said that. We